We begin with our first look at an accused cop killer in court. Juan Laws went before a judge today for a preliminary hearing. His court appearance comes nearly two months after police say he shot two officers. Today, proceedings centered on Laws capital murder charge for the death of Officer Garrett Crumby. We have live team coverage for you this afternoon. Way 31's Chris Tatum and Alex Torres Perez are at the Madison County Courthouse this afternoon to bring us the latest details on this highly anticipated hearing. Chris? Well, first up, I think a lot of folks thought this hearing today would last an hour, maybe two, well into the afternoon. Not the case. Half hour, it was over. A lot of folks thought we would see an ocean of blue in that courtroom. A lot of officers attending that hearing. Not the case. Only a handful of officers were here, all of them essential to this actual hearing. And a lot of folks thought we would learn a lot more about the evidence prosecutors hold in this case. Not so much either because they say right now much of the evidence they are counting on to build their case is still being examined and tested. We do know, though, of course, that several members of Officer Garrett Crumby's family were in that courtroom. So were some members of accused killer Juan Law's family as bailiffs walked laws into the courtroom. Most uh, members of Garrett's family looked at the floor. They didn't really acknowledge him, but they know all too well, of course, that for prosecutors now to, of course, get a guilty verdict down the road and eventually even more so now that we've learned a death sentence, this will be a long road to justice. I want to join us right now with uh, my colleague, Way 31's Alex Torres Perez. She was in that courtroom. She's going to tell us a lot more about the evidence prosecutors did present today. Alex. Well, Chris, a investigator with the State Bureau of Investigations, Investigation says that the suspect, Juan Laws, shot at officers the moment they opened the door. Officer Garrett Crumby and Officer Albert Morin were actually responding to a domestic disturbance call after a woman called 911 saying someone shot her. When they arrived to the scene, the investigator says officers heard a woman screaming inside the apartment, and that's when Officer Garrett Crumby opened the door and was immediately shot. Officer Morin told investigators he only saw a man wearing body armor inside, and that's when his training kicked in, and he shot Juan Laws in the leg before he went over the railing into the floor below to call for backup. Prosecutors say his actions that day were nothing short of heroic. Uh, he saved many lives that day by, by what he did, and just, just speaking with him and hearing what he did, it's uh, pretty unbelievable. Unfortunately, his colleague, sense? Officer Garrett Crumby, did not make it after investigators say Juan Law shot at him several times, even after he was down. It's still unclear how many times he was shot because the autopsy is still not done. But the judge did find that there was enough evidence testified in the hearing today to send this case over to the grand jury. Now, make sure to tune in to Way 31 News at 5 as I'll go over what the woman who was shot told investigators really led up to this deadly situation. Chris? Alex, thank you so much for that report. Certainly what we did learn in the courtroom today was at some points hard to listen to. With this case, though, now bound over to the grand jury, we do know that even defense lawyers say they expect it to take at least a year before a grand jury will even return an indictment if that is ultimately what happens. Joining me live right now, attorney Will League from the law firm Timberlake and League. Uh, will, this is, of course, first of all, a capital murder case. Right. It is is now we know a death penalty case and a police officer is the victim. How is how is this case different than your average capital murder case? You know, capital murder cases are unique animals in that, you know, it requires death of two people, death of an officer, death of someone committing a felony. There's enumerated factors in the Alabama code that makes this a capital case. And just because it's a capital case does not mean they're seeking the death penalty, but we are under my understanding they are seeking the death penalty. Today was an initial step, one of the initial steps in justice for Officer Crumbry, his family, the entire police force, the community of Huntsville. What happens next is bound over to a grand jury, a closed door proceeding, and they'll decide whether or not to return a true bill, and that will bound it, uh, that will take it over to an arraignment, and that will lead to an indictment. The judge, uh, during the, the arraignment, they'll read the indictment, advise the defendants of his, of his rights, and then move forward in that direction, ultimately to a trial. Given that there was a death of an officer, um, it, it can be a capital case. Again, they don't have to choose, they don't have to seek the death penalty they have in this case. And the next step is it'll go to a grand jury, 
when that grand jury will meet, I don't know. And the evidence will be presented by the district attorney, and then they'll decide whether to, to bound that over or take that to an indictment, and then it'll be it'll be presented to the defendant and their attorneys or right. the defendant's attorneys in a uh, in an arraignment, and then you have the evidentiary hearings, and then you march along to trial. Now remember, there's over 40 capital cases I believe that are set for trial or or in the system. COVID came in. Uh, Madison County, we, we are behind on, on right. the number of judges that we have, so it may take a long time, but if today was one of the initial steps toward justice for Officer Cumbry, his family, and the entire police force. All right. Thank you so much, Will League. You'll be back with us at 5 for more legal analysis, and we appreciate that. One thing's for sure, as we've heard today, this is going to be probably a long, drawn-out process, this journey to justice for Officer Garrett Crumby. All right, thanks, Chris and uh, Alex Torres Perez. We appreciate your reporting out there. Very difficult day yeah. for everyone involved with that.